Hello Virgo, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Virgo, this is your reading for the month of October 2021 and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Okay, I would also appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Virgo, uh, in this reading, we are going to see what you need to know about your love life and about your career, finances and your money. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a couple of cards over here and they will represent your love life energy. And I'm going to place a couple of cards over here and they will represent your career, your finance, your money energy. Okay, and by the way, I'm using a new tarot deck. Okay. This is a tarot of mystical moments, okay? A beautiful tarot deck with beautiful imagery. I'm in love with this tarot deck, okay? So let's get started. Let's get started. What is it that Virgo needs to know about their love life and about their career, their finances? What is it that Virgo needs to know about their love life, their career, their finances? So we have is devil, then we have is a hierophant, we have is justice, we have is eight of swords. For career and finances, we have is the moon, the strength, king of swords, and we have six of pentacles. We have one extra card that is eight of wands. Okay. Now let me pull out some clarifiers let me pull out some clarifiers okay three of wands and strength and king of pentacles and two of cups okay as far as your love life is concerned virgo uh, you may be dealing with a capricorn with a taurus with a libra with a leo okay uh if the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed from the signs. <clears throat> Virgo, there is a push and a pull energy. Okay. With that eight of swords, I feel that you want liberty you want to relieve you want to get out of a stagnancy or you are thinking that you want to move on you want someone else in your life but then you also find thinking about your past person but i will say that you are someone who is powerful if you are thinking that your past person is keeping you stuck or their thoughts are keeping you stuck then that should not be the case because you are powerful enough to release yourself from that stagnant energy okay you are powerful enough to give yourself that justice you are powerful enough to bring the required changes in your life, in your love life, okay? You have shown your powers in the times of crisis, okay? Remember what, remember something extraordinary that you have done in your life. It can be anything from your childhood, but you have done certain things. Consider that situation as an inspiration, okay know that you can bring serious changes in your life also know that there is someone who is guiding you you feeling stuck is probably an illusion okay uh, maybe this person this past person sort of drained you this past person sort of uh, took away your smile, took away your happiness for temporary period and maybe because of the ongoing retro, uh, mercury retrograde, 
you are feeling that you are thinking about your past person a lot you are feeling their energy a lot okay and you are a bit scared that this person their thoughts may again drain you their thoughts may again uh put you in this stagnancy phase okay but don't worry first of all mercury retrograde is a temporary phase it's not a permanent situation secondly even if there is a mercury retrograde uh, retrograde you are definitely a powerful soul to not to allow anyone else affect you okay to not to allow your past person to affect you in fact with that hereford what i feel is that there is someone else who is keenly interested in you there is someone else who want to show you the true happiness he who wants to show you the true love who wants to show you the better side of the world okay and with that justice next to hereford universe also wants to bring justice in your love life and universe is ready and willing to bring that justice only universe is asking you to free yourself from this from whatever you are thinking okay it's only a matter of one decision you need to make some decision around this love situation and know that you are a powerful person know that you are a powerful soul don't underestimate yourself okay you don't have to fear anything you don't have to worry about anything as far as your career your money is concerned we have is the moon the strength the king of swords 8 of wands 6 of pentacles and clarifies our king of pentacles and 2 of cups maybe you're feeling it from childhood that you are a different person okay you have always felt that you do not fit in here there is a different purpose there is a different calling okay whatever you are doing right now it's not that you are unhappy with that but then you are trying to find more satisfaction and then you end up thinking that i am here to do something bigger and something better but you are still in the process of finding what is that maybe many a times you feel that you don't belong to this place or there is something else some some other career that is meant for you or maybe you are you are meant to pursue your career, career by going in a uh, by relocating yourself somewhere else and then you will pursue your career from that place or you will find your success uh, in that place right so what i see is you are in a transition phase right now you are trying to listen to yourself your soul your calling okay but the clarity that you want is coming very slowly okay the clarity that you are seeking about your own uh, about your own calling is is not available completely okay and then there are other things in your life that are happening which are sort of distracting you from your calling from your purpose or maybe what you are meant to do in this lifetime with respect to your career with respect to your professional life somehow i am feeling that the current career you are pursuing that is based on one of your talents but you are a multi talented person and your life purpose is about a different talent which you have not at all explored right now or some of you are have recently started exploring that new talent of yours what i feel is that you are meant 
to become globally recognized some of you you're meant maybe like people will start following you you are meant to do something because of which people are going to start following you you will have a fan base you will have a social media following you will have lot of name fame and reputation okay money is going to follow automatically for some of you at least there is going to be a global presence you want to listen to your calling but you always find that there is some ambiguity start doing meditation virgo you will have the clarity okay and yeah i feel that there is going to be a relocation somehow i feel that you you will relocate yourself somewhere else and wherever you're going to relocate that place is going to be very lucky for you to pursue something new or something different okay that place will sort of enlighten uh enlighten the life enlighten you about your life purpose or about your calling okay all right i hope this resonates hit like share and subscribe and comment on below okay bye bye then